fave. So now we're talking about Marcel. Hello. So, like, what's your favorite thing about the character? Well, first of all, I just want to say this is going to be one of our best videos. Look out for the sequel sequels to this video where we'll talk about the rest of the characters because it's going to be amazing. Chase will be next. Yes, because, yes. The Everest. So we're here to discuss why what Marshall is one of our favorite and one of the best characters suitable for his role in the TV series known as Paw Patrol. And the movie. Yeah, and the movie, yeah. However, the movie was kind of, pretty good, not going to lie. However, I didn't like his role in the movie, though. So let's make first thing we talk about, though, is about Marshall mm-hmm. in the movie. Uh, well, one of the things I did see is how he took over most of the problems Chase couldn't fix. In the- oh, wait, hold on. Big spoiler warning. Yeah. If you haven't seen the movie, click off yes. now. No, stay on. We don't care. <laughs> I mean, spoiler alert, because it- Yes. Click on this anyway. You're bad. You're a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your fault. <laughs> so, um, anyways, Marshall does take over a lot of and try to, well, not try, but he does end up doing most of the things Chase was supposed to do. Like that when, when Chase froze up or, like, he couldn't do it. It made Marshall seem more of an antagonist, though, because we didn't get to hear much of him talk or, you know, interact with Chase, how he does more in the TV series. I didn't like his role in the movie, honestly, because it felt like he didn't do much. I mean, I guess it felt so- like he was an antagonist instead of a protagonist. It's just like an antagonist is the enemy, you know that, right? So Mayor Humdinger was the antagonist. He was just a minor protagonist. Hashtag grabber. <laughs> I just didn't like his role in the movie because I felt like he didn't do. Like, I mean, I know he saved the day, but like. We didn't get his backstory, and I kind of, I kind of want to know what Marcel's backstory is, and like, we see how Marcel and Chase are like such good friends, you know? Because I was wondering if they had like a common background, maybe, but no. Well, so, um, let's talk about something. You know, well, here's the word. So Marcel seems more of a a deuteragonist. You know, like, Marshall in the series is more of a deuteragonist rather than one of the main protagonists because he does often interact with Chase, Marshall, and other more of the other main characters. We have gotten a lot of episodes where they focused on Marshall more than rather some of the other characters. And, like, you know, same thing for most of the other characters. But if you just like Chase and Marshall, I'm mean, Chase and Marshall, sorry. Chase and Ryder are like the main two, and the other ones are just deuteragonists. I was actually reading the other day how the characters that have episodes about them the most, it goes in ranking Chase, Marcel, then Ryder. It was like, it, does somebody watch every single episode, every single plot? And apparently, Marcel has the second most episodes kind of about him. So I feel like he is definitely one of the most important characters. Now to stir up this this video, let's talk about something everyone loves. The, sh- the favorite all-time ship known as Evershall or yes. Paris. Evershall. I don't know. Or I that... prefer Evershall. Honestly, I, I don't know how that became so crazy popular. Honestly, um, I don't understand how Everest is yet so older than Marshall, yet people see them as a ship i say i see nothing wrong with that it's but the thing is years. it just seems to ship everest is way older than marshall i'm just throwing that out only two years come on that's not a crazy huge did gap. you look it up or something yes no wikipedia over here marshall's supposed to be six years old it's everest <laughs> is eight <laughs> years old oh wow lol. so it's not this massive gap not as massive in dog years but in human years i mean like i mean if marshall was the eight-year-old that would have made more sense they both seem like child like 
they seem like maturity wise they're the same the exact same maturity wise i cannot tell you how many um ever shop fan fictions i've read over and over like mine i hope ship obsessed i'm obsessed Oh, yes. Um, quick shout out to one of the books we're working on, Marshall and Chase the Academy. Go check that out after yes. this stream if you haven't already. We and also a- go check out Marshall and Everest Together Forever, written by uh, Animax, our host here. And, and oh, I had I had nothing to do with the Marshall and Everest Together Forever, but I did help write some of Marshall and Chase the Academy. More chapters coming on that book soon. We're co authors for that. Yeah, co op. Also, this and is- just so if anybody's wondering how we do it, um, we just use a Google document and then we just upload it. And we both are co-owners of this YouTube channel right here. Yes. And that's why we make videos together. Mm-hmm. That, that you have to like and everything or else we'll be disappointed in you. And yeah, I just can't think of anything else. We'll just be disappointed in you. 25 second advertising advertisement break. Um, wait, we're opening an advertise. <laughs> wow. I'm <laughs> stupid. <laughs> oh, right. I was going to advertise what this channel is even for. All right. So most of this channel is just memes and like videos for fun that we like enjoy making. Um, also, one of the main things we're going to be doing here is we are both um, learning how to draw and animate. So for the future, for those who are creating fan fictions, Wattpad, fanfiction.net, and most of other platforms, but mainly focusing on Wattpad and fanfiction.net. We want to be able to bring your stories to the to world life. of animation. Yes, to life. So, like, if you want, like, a trailer scene for, like, your fan fiction, boom, 20 bucks or 45 we can do that for you, depending how long you want your ad. You want a half-hour movie? 30 minutes, got you. Around 80 to maybe 120 bucks. Depends. 30 to 45 minutes, 120 bucks is the max for that. You want a full one hour movie? Well, we don't got prices much yet, but you get the deal. Um, the movie is actually really expensive, though, because we don't want to do a movie. <laughs> if you want a Avengers Endgame style three hour movie, I swear we will charge you $500. No, we'll charge you like 10000 We're like, no. How I will you- not work under those circumstances of having to work on a three-hour movie you have to you'd have yeah. to pay us like crazy well for that Ten thousand frames per second be like <laughs> we're... all right i think we're well over 25 seconds oh yeah we we've gone like two minutes <laughs> all right back on track um anyways so marshall if as the image you can see marshall is the breed symbol of firefighter most firefighter dogs are dalmatians which is one of the world's most lovable dog breeds and marshall best name of all time couldn't have thought anything better in the episodes he really is funny and silly we get to see a lot of his character with the other pups you know no one's ever mad at marshall except um marshall that episode where what was it called all right, right. I uh, believe it was called. Right. Um. So yeah, the episode where he runs away, uh, pups save a stowaway or pups save a friend. I think. I think the friend was Sky episode, and then like I think stowaway or something was Marcel. Probably. Honestly. But uh, yeah. He is pretty fast on the scene. You know, he's good. When it comes to leading in Ultimate Rescue, he's really good and all. So, Chase ever dies, you know, I wouldn't mind Marshall taking over. Sorry, all Chase fans. Wow, it's like, if Chase dies, Marshall's next. To be fair, I said if. (laughs) Also, I like like how, like, reading Marshall has the second best uh, sniffer after Chase. Also, nose, geez, goodness. <laughs> my brain doesn't work sometimes. Also, all right, now the three main catchphrases. As you can see, one of them is always ready for a r- 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 rescue. rescue. <laughs> Please don't say it that way. Um, we have I'm fired up. I'm all fired up. 
Um, I know there's one more. Um, yeah, it's for his medical. Uh, right, yeah, for the medical. Oh, uh, why can't we think of this? Um, here, I'm going to Google it just for fun. For some reason, I keep thinking of Everest's cat's phrase. Why? This is not about Well, luckily, me. I'm Googling it. Good. I thought he had, like, four, though. Maybe I'm wrong. No, they do. No, he does have more for the ultimate rescue and other th- things. Um, um, so I'm fired up, ready for a rough, rough rescue. I'm okay is very iconic, particularly <laughs> after, particularly after falling. He says that once every episode. I was like, I'm okay. He's just I'm the okay. best. He's the best, though, with his jokes and whatnot. Uh-huh. So, yeah, I guess he doesn't really have any other cat's phrases. Yeah, I don't think so. I do wish, um, though, we got his background, you know? Because we know mm-hmm. that he was the third mm-hmm. member of Paw Patrol. There are he... so many fan fictions out there with, like, what Marshall's background should have been. And the most common one that I agree with that I see out there is where Marshall is a firefighter. You know, he used to work with his parents in a firefighting station. But uh, due to some issues, he runs away. This is a particular fan fiction. I'm not going to say anything due to advertising purposes. I don't want to advertise somebody else's fan fiction, but it is really good. No, nah, ours um, is I the best, though. I think it was though. Fanfiction.net, but yeah, but like, the fanfiction was really good overall. Um, it showed a background. It, it involves Rocky, too. You know, like, how, how Marshall and Rocky met before the Paw Patrol, and then they reunited, like, once they met each other on the Paw Patrol, you know, it was kind of cool. Wait, I'm trying to think of all the pups that we have backgrounds on it, because now we have Chase's background. We have Rubble, and I think we got Sky. Yes, I think Rubble's was a little um, short. Could have been more more to it. Yeah, definitely. But I feel like Marcel's so important. Like, why don't we get his background or writers for that matter? But this is about Marcel. So honestly, the lack of backgrounds in Paw Patrol has been throwing like... this out there. Another common background I see a lot for writer is his parents died in a car crash when they were delivering Chase for his birthday, and Chase survives the car crash. Dang, that's dark. Technically. In 2016, in an interview, one of the animators of Pop Patrol said, They're, his parents are around. They just don't give a crap that their child is just going, saving people, going to burning buildings, going to yada, yada, yada. They're just like, How upsetting. Yeah. I wonder if Marshall ever had any siblings. That would be really cool. Yes. Nickelodeon better take some tips off of this. We, I'm sure many people would love to see if Marshall had siblings. Yes, watch this video over and over again. Share it with your friends. We must get Nickelodeon to watch this because... Why not? We have so many amazing ideas that, with your help, Nickelodeon... I mean, chances are they're not going to see this, but, you know, we'll make an idea video where we can share some ideas in the future about, like, things we'd, like, fans and, well, like us, like, things we'd all want to see. It's a lot I'd love to see with Marcel, though. Oh my god, what if um, Marshall met a magic witch in an episode and he got his clumsiness cured for a day? <laughs> I'm still bad. I mean, not gonna lie, his clumsiness is iconic, but it would it would be really cool to see the pup's reaction to how he would act differently. Or like, what if he bumped his head and lost his memory? No. And then like, when he like and then when he wakes up from his little brain knockout he has a completely like australian he like has an australian accent like completely different this you know he, he's acting more mature and his clumsiness is all gone you know we'd like to, I, i'm sure there would be a little bit of people out there especially including me not sure about you who would want to see uh marshall get his clumsiness cleared for at least a day depending on the situation and what it is though if there's one thing about Marshall that I would love to see, ever so, ever so. Oh, like, yeah. We, um, 
it's pretty much obvious Chase like Sky. He's shown multiple signs of it. Yeah, that Marsh that... is always like, Hey Everett voice crack. <laughs> <laughs> hey Everett, you know, and just like always saying hi, always in an optimistic mood. You no, know, I really like that. That's like the bitterness sign that we get to see. There's not much of it. But there has been a little more proof. Not sure what it was. All I just know is Evershaw and yes. Wait, I'm going to look up the official Eversoul. Everest Hall. Did they, make, uh, did they make Hall cough drops after Everest? That'd be cool. <laughs> totally. Okay, right here. Wait, no, that's not a friendship. No. We're looking for the sip. Not their friendship. Nobody cares about them being friends. Bro, how do you think they make... make never mind. Dumb, dumb. A, a lollipop smaller, smaller than that. Sure. No. Oh. Um, Other host says Mar- um, Marcel got their, got their share of hardcore sippers. I don't know anything about who, who would do such a thing. So uh, you got to... I swear, I just heard a noise, and I'm like, excuse me. <laughs> Weird monster trying to re- trying to make a video here. You know, can you eat me later? Yeah. Honestly, I feel like if we did a poll, I bet Marcel would be the best, would be, would win it, like, on who's their favorite character. Because, like, most people I know, like, either Marcel's their favorite or one of them. Or Chase. Yeah, Chase is a good character too. All right, so let's get into a bit of more detailed discussion. You got like a favorite episode where Marshall comes out? Hmm, I really like. I, I, it's been a while, but this one episode where it was one of the ultimate rescues, firefighter, and like I loved how he took command. You know, like the showing how Ken has almost like a Chase like side, where like if he truly has to, then he'll be in command. He'll jump to the scene and be like. I am the I'm the leader here. I know what to do. Now let's go do this. You know. Yeah. But um, I really love any episode that has Marshall in his um either his ready set rescue gear, his mission paw gear, or his air pa- air patrol gear. Like, I think those are the most unique suits he has. Oh, and that episode where he got to be play do a play and he was the king because Chase was sick. <laughs> that, that was funny. Yeah, I really liked him wearing the king. It, it suited him. Yeah. Get it? Suit? King? No? Eh, eh. I'm pretty sure if we get lots I'm of in here, we'll be seeing comments like this face palm, face palm. That's the kind of comments we'll get off of that. What's your favorite type of uniform you've seen Marshall in? Oh, definitely uh, the Ultimate Mission. I love that uniform. I know. It's- I think the classic's not half bad. Ultimate Mission. But I love the, the Ready, Set, Rescue gear. Oh, there's so much about Marshall I love. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to fit all this, yet we're struggling, like, to find even, like, the smallest detail. No. <laughs> well, the longer the video, the longer watch time, I guess, and that's always good. Uh-huh. Honestly, I feel like Marcel, we could go on and on about him, like, there's so many categories I can think of. Like, we have, like, Eversoul, of course, we could dive into. We have just Marcel and his clumsiness. We have his background, we have him in the movie, him in the episode series, him in, I think I this a lot. All I know, we said this earlier, but I did not like his role in the movie. I feel like he wasn't important and it revolved around one character, you know? Mm-hmm. But yeah, I love the show though, because he definitely gets the spotlight a lot more. It's funny if you think about it, though, because all the pups, you've gone through, what, eight seasons now? Yeah. 
So let's get into like more detail though. Like, all right, so species, domination, gender, male, relatives, we know nothing. Oh yeah, Age he gets no six. And I'm pretty sure in blundering, I'm getting a bit of this off a of wiki, not gonna lie. Blund- he, I'm pretty sure Mayor Digger, Mayor Humdinger, <laughs> Mayor Humdinger calls him, please edit that out. <laughs> Calls him blundering beagle on pup save a basketball game. <laughs> Occupation Paw Patrol member number three, fire pup, medic pup. His first appearance was in the episode Pups Make a Splash, which was a good episode. I loved that. That was the first episode. Of course, he would appear in the first episode. Yeah. And on each of the numbers on their pup vehicles indicate when they joined of course Ryder's number one chase is number two mar interestingly though marshall's number three so i feel like i bet he if because there's i think they said something about possibly making a paw patrol the movie too because it's doing pretty doing really well for like covid and whatnot so what if in like paw patrol movie two they get fine. I'm just gonna throw this out there. Sorry to interrupt, but Marshall's voice actor is Canadian. Oh, I know. In fact, a lot of the voice actors are Canadian. Mm-hmm. I like Canadian people, they're cool. If you're Canadian people, call me. <laughs> if you're Canadian, we love you, so subscribe to us. However, Let's go Canada. I hate your Canadian. If you're Russian, go away. Russian spies are not allowed. I'm kidding. Just, just kidding. You can spy on us as long as you subscribe. We just want your subs. Long. <laughs> no, we totally care about you. Also, back totally. To the, back to the Canadians. I hate your... Why wouldn't team. we care about Russian, Russian spies? I'm kidding. Not everyone's a Russian spy. For all you know, I'm a Russian spy. Take me home, West Virginia. No, wait, that's not even, that's not, that has nothing to do with Russia. Never mind. (laughs) I feel like we're going to get hate comments for this. I love how, like, I love how half this video so far has not been about Marshall. (laughs) Just random stuff. What's your favorite thing about Marcel? He's optimistic about almost literally everything. Besides his clumsiness and being last in the elevator, Marcel is optimistic about anything. He always finds a reason to be happy. That makes me enjoy his characteristics. My favorite thing about him well, is probably his friendship with Chase. I've always loved that. They seem almost, yeah, they're really good friends. They almost seem kind of like brothers to me, you know? I'm just a little... It's the fact that pe- to, this is to the people who shipped male, who ship a male Chase and a female Marshall or the other way around. Ugh. I saw... I So, actually, this is actually real. Okay, so today I was scrolling through, through fanfiction.net while I keep getting these two brothers confused. Anyways, I was scrolling through it looking for Marshall fan fictions today because I was bored and like, why not? And I come across this fan fiction, Marshall and Everest. Chever, uh, sorry, Cheverest. Marshall and Ever. wait, Ch- Marshall and Everest. No, wait, hold on. Confusion. This Marshall and Chase fan fiction, uh, Charshall, um, and it said, uh, Marsh, um, Chase X, Marshall, female Marshall, and I'm like, excuse me, no. They're like brothers. You can't do that. Plus, I mean, technically, they already did, so. Yeah, 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 I get the point. I don't like, uh, I don't like the Marshall and say sips, and I don't like the, when they, when they make them like humans, I hate them. I hate that so much. I think anthrop- Paw Patrol as humans, humans like us, I think that's good. But anthropomorphic, 
Now that's a whole thing. For those of for those of you who are furries and all that, you know how like your animals like I hate both. You know, like an animal but a human at the same time because it's got the legs and the arm. Yeah, just slap Paw Patrol on a furry suit and you got an anthropomorphic Paw Patrol story. Which I write a lot. I I think um using Paw Patrol and anthropomorphic Paw Patrol in some stories is really key to being able to um, bring out more of the character because it gets to interact more with a lot of different things. But you know, normal Paw Patrol fictions are the bomb. If you got any fan fictions, put them down in the link and we'll do a fan fiction review. We'll review some fan fictions. Right? Oh, good. One thing that I don't like, um, what was it? I don't like the mature <laughs> fan fics. Like oh, no. Have. If you have any mature and appropriate ones, do not send, please. I also hate the lemons. Like, why? Just why? You had to mention that word, did you? It's a nicer way of putting it. For those of you who don't know what a lemon is, go look up a ver- go get a verbal dictionary. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Good, because we're keeping this G-rated. <laughs> this is kid-friendly. I'm taking thought, go- don't grab our verbal dictionary. We might get to one, guys. Maybe don't tell them to get the Urban Dictionary. Can we can we edit this out? <laughs> Beep. Really. Beep. This is where you edit it when you look over the stream. Beep. No, we're probably not even gonna edit it. I'm not gonna edit it like at all. I'm just gonna slap maybe slap some our logo on there and call it good. You know, another thing to love about Marshall is he's always all action. He gets easily excited, and the, he's the clumsy one. You're always going to hear him left and right, like, just walking on the street, out of the corner of the world. I'm okay. And when it comes to Pub Fu, he's really good. Like, really good. And... You know, his puns, you know, they can be pretty funny, but sometimes they're kind of hard to understand. Like, in... yeah. All right, I wanted to do a quick discussion about the episode. Uh, hashtag ever shot well. Anyways, I wanted to do a quick discussion about the episode Pup Save a Stowaway or Pup Save a Friend, which I believe is the episode where Marshall does run away. I don't think I actually I watched like that one. I there could have been a lot more potential worth with that story. I feel like that couldn't even been a movie at the most. Ooh, and you've actually made a book like that. Yes, what? I've seen many fan fictions, especially the one by... Have account Marshall got missing. That one is a popular Marshall running away fan fiction. I feel like they could have done something similar to that. Cause, like, what if Marshall got mad and angry, got into a fight with Chase? You know, I know this is not kid friendly at the most, but like, it would have made something. It would have made a pretty cool episode. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I mean, I feel like. Nowadays, half of Pop Patrol's following is like 13 and up, so just make a movie for us. Mm-hmm. Honestly, on Wattpad, they get to show my viewings. It's like majority of people are 13 to 18. My arm is itchy. <laughs> Probably something Marshall would say himself. <laughs> you are kind of like Marshall, I feel like. I'm the like mini version of Marshall over here. The human version of Marshall. That's why you should subscribe. Exactly, yes. We have Marshall on our side. We also would like to advertise two Discord servers today. Links down below. Three, actually. Three. So we, ha- we have another channel. Well, not we, but mostly him. We got Ann One Max or Animax as I call it because it makes sense. Although there's a one, it looks like an I and it makes just yes. Anyways, it's one of his gaming channels. Go check it out. Blow it up. Yes, you know, blow everything That'd be up. really cool. 
we can't forget your Wattpad account. Get you need to get to one k followers. And reads. Oh yeah, go check us both out on Wattpad. I'm Bannaboy two one seven seven. That is B A N N A two one seven seven. And then obviously, this guy is writer K K G X. Or you <laughs> obviously now? Did you change it? <laughs> you said like I'm. He's obviously writer K K G X. Obviously, everyone should know. <laughs> the world should know. <laughs> The world should the world should know. Yeah, the world should know. I feel like by the end of our advertising, I'm gonna have like 50 links down below. It's like you're just scrolling, like, is this the right one? Click. Nope. Just joined another Discord server. Is this right? Click. Oh dang, I have to subscribe to some random YouTube channel. Also go join Wolf Voice Studio. It's a wolf acting voice acting server. I'm running with somebody else and also with the help of anime. I forgot I helped. Yes. Um, we could use some villains. And we could uh, like oh, to yeah. help Animax. Because we need more people for our casting calls. Because we already got the main villain here. Which is your, uh, not yours truly, but the other guy um, on the other side. I think Animax. Yeah. So he's our main villain. But we could also use more members for Dwight Pack. Because just because, yes. So our next video will be about Chase, unless we get a thousand comments. Otherwise, we're kind of all right. Well, type let let us know down in the comments who you want to see next. We're not ending the video yet; just throwing that out there. Um, let's do a bit more advertising. We do want to do one more server, so we've discussed Animax and we've discussed Wolf Boy Studios. More information in the description. I hope I'm counting on you for that. Long. Yeah, yeah, I might need your help. Sure. <laughs> Any other server you want to mention? No, we're good. Not really. All right. Well, anyways, I have a Wattpad, the, a server called the Wattpad Writers, where all Wattpad writers or any type of fan fiction writers, if you're a fanfiction.net writer or just a writer in general, you like to write stories on any platform, that's cool. You know, it's just called the Wattpad Writers. It's mostly meant for Wattpad people, but if you if you write on a different platform, come and join. You know, for all fan fiction writers, you can come here and chill, get to know other writers. Just don't spam message them or DM them. Yeah, guys, here's my account on Wattpad. All right, as you can see, this book right here, Marcel and Stacey Academy, that's the book we write together. Yeah, that's our book. And then pull up my account if you can. It's right there. And no, the yeah, that one. There we go. And then this is his. Ooh, this is. I am currently working on seven stories. If you would like to assist, please help. So when I first started out on Wattpad, it was a bit reckless, and I thought I could just like make so many stories at once because I'm like big brain. <laughs> that really flopped. Although I finished one of my books, I have completed Marshall's Secret. It's not the best book. I'm trying, I'm, I'm probably going to revamp it soon and just redo, not the entire story, but like go back, like recreate it, fix some spelling errors, some mistakes, you know, add, change the plot maybe a little bit. So yeah, but go check it out. It's completely finished. So yeah, as you can see, has some pretty successful books, by the yes. way. Yes, also, if you look to my, you know, never mind. All right, moving on. Yay. Oh, or not. All right. <laughs> to your left, you can see a mention of amazing writers. Uh, or not. You know what? Again. Okay, here we are. Here we okay, so if you would, if you are a Wattpad writer and you would like your name featured here, because these are some of my favorite writers, you want your name featured here? Let me know in the comments, and I'll check it later. So, yeah. Also, let's get writer KKGX to 100 followers, because yes. Yes, that, is yes is the best reason. He, I have a hundred and something followers, and he reached 1K before I did. That's something cool. But to be fair, he's been on Wattpad longer than me, but yet I, I somehow gained more followers. But most of them are probably just bots. Oh, crap. I, we just got copyrighted. Dang it. What have you done? No. Actually, this, this also, thing. we have mini HD clips on our channel. Go check those out. Also... Um, reaction videos coming soon with better quality, I hope. Maybe. By the way, our number one video right here. 
As we have see. a one hour Just Can't Wait to Be King and a one hour Hakuna Matata. Please go watch. Those took a long time to make. They took him a long time to make. Yeah. Reward they were one. sort of half like half of my idea, half of his idea. He made them though, so. Yeah, this is a long list of videos. So yeah. We're... Also, if you would like us to write another fan fiction, we we could write your fiction idea could be the next fan fiction we write together because probably we're not gonna write any fan fictions together after this again. Maybe in the future, but uh, we're we'll still be doing videos like this and all that. Yeah. Should we go back to Marcel? We've been advertising forever now. <laughs> yes. Okay. So let's do like theories about Marcel. Got any theories? Last advertisement. Go check out my Paw Patrol story. Ban for life. Banner Boy 277. Link in the description. Woo! All right. Continuing. People might want to put that in slow motion. <laughs> So, like, I was wondering, like, is there any care, anything that you think, uh, I wasn't going to say. We should discuss. My brain's not working. So, what's your favorite scene that Marcel has done throughout the mm-hmm. whole show? Oh, when, at the end of the, one of the, I forgot which episode it was. I think it was the, the Jamboree something. When Marshall walks off wearing the sombrero, <laughs> I'm Mexican, so I don't say sombrero. Sombrero, we say sombrero in 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 in, in Me- Mexico, um, but I've developed an English accent over the time, so I sound weird. Sombrero, yeah. I'm also Mexican. So when he walks off with a sombrero at the end of the scene, Mr. Ford is like, "No, give back." <laughs> well, I don't think it was the end of the scene and end of the episode because I'm pretty sure everyone got one. But I think it was like around the middle of the episode. Yeah, it was one, kind of one of my favorite scenes. Yeah. I can't pronounce um, the Mexican words correctly. I, Mexican words. I can't do the Spanish accent either. Simple. R, r, sombrero. I'm a Mexican r, that r. can't roll my R's. R, r. R, r. That's the best I can do. Ew. I feel like just by my accent, they're like, you're not Mexican. <laughs> and I'm like, I Same. See. I've developed a weird accent over time, so I sound weird. You sound just like a run-of-the-mill American to me. <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm Mexican-American. As am I. Something wrong with your thing. Well, guys, due to technical difficulties, I guess that's the end of our video. So thank you for watching. Next up will be Chase, hopefully.